Good evening. Um, about a week ago we uploaded a record that went down rather well, if you'll forgive the clumsy uh, metaphor. Uh, it was a, a, a Paul Specht record made in New York for issue on the British Duophone label. And um, several people really liked it and wrote in and, uh, and I always liked it because I've had a copy of it for since I was 15 years old, and I, was, I always liked it. Um, but there are two takes of it, and uh, the differences are fairly small, but they're both lovely records. Um, and one person commented, well, the record's very nice, but why can't we see it being played? So this video is to answer their query, uh, and I will now show you what we're going to play it on. Yes, we are going to play it on this uh, spring-driven uh, equipment here, uh, which has got a Garrard, I think it's a number 11 motor, 12-inch turntable, uh, here it is, and the reason I'm playing it with this original uh, 1930 pickup uh, is just uh, for the hell of it. Um, this record is not in as good shape as the one I put up last, last time, so it doesn't matter. Uh, that it's going to be have a steel needle on it. No, it doesn't. <clears throat> uh, this is a BTH pickup of uh, 1930, and uh, you may say, why are we actually um, playing this rather nice record with a heavy, what we used to call in the trade, a beetle crusher? these early, uh, you know, electromagnetic pickups. And the reason is this desk is not in very good condition. But there are two takes, both of which are labelled on the la uh, labelled take A and also in the wax. It says 28210A, <laughs> but they are different. Uh, the difference being that the one we put up the other week the vocal chorus, the vocal trio isn't very loud and they said well we ought to do it again and this has got the right volume. Okay, so here we go. You'll open your eyes in the morning when the sun shines to rise and the scrubbers 